Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. 
And she looks like butter. Good job. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep going. Nice work, girls. Nice job. Keep moving. Keep moving. Championships today, freshmen, uh, first year running on this course, first year for a high school championship. How did it feel out there at the start line? Um, so the first, I don't know, first few minutes, I was feeling good. I was like, oh, I think this is going to be a good race. Like, I don't know, it was just nice, and the start went well, which is unique for me. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice start, nice yeah. open. Didn't get boxed in. Okay, and then throughout the race, you were sitting in third for a lot of the race. Mm -hmm. Kind of in no man's land. Nobody yeah. else around you. Jane and Lily up ahead of you. But then mile two, something happened. Yeah. Tell me about that. I don't know. I just noticed I was getting closer, and I was like, oh, there's not that much left. I'm just like, there's a long way before fourth. Like, I can just give what I have, and if I burn out, it's like, fine. It'll be good. 
I just gave what I had left. So you took a chance yeah. and it paid off. Uh-huh. Second place. What did it feel like crossing the finish line? I didn't expect that coming into the season. I didn't expect like how it was gonna go for any of the races. And so I was just like surprised and like happy with it. Okay. Very good. What's next? NXR? Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck, Adria. True freshman. Looking really good this year. Coming off a great season and a great state performance. Okay, Lily Alder, third place finish overall. And coming off a hybrid track and cross country <laughs> season. Yeah. Racing the 1500 meter and the 800, and then switching up to the cross country season mm -hmm. uh, as you moved uh, to Utah. Yes. So, tell me about that racing here at altitude. What did it feel like uh, in, in this 4,500, 5,000 feet elevation? Oh, it like I my my chest hurts. It's it's definitely like towards when I finish, I feel it more. But it it was tough, but I think it helps a lot when you're back at sea level. Okay, back at sea level. So, mm -hmm. tell me about the race today. Uh, you and Jane went out at a pretty fast pace. Yes. I think it was about 11.10 for you through two miles. Yes. So about a 5.30, 5.40 mile. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that, like, uh, how are you managing your energy throughout the race? Um, I think I can definitely feel the track season because I could, like, maintain a fast pace, but towards that third mile, it really hit me mm -hmm. but pretty hard because I, I haven't done that many three miles. I mean, especially last year I only rid in a couple. So it definitely definitely hit that third mile. But yeah, I I felt pretty good those first two, but that third mile really got me. Okay, well state champions today yes. overall for the Tim U yes. girls. What does it feel like to be as part of a state champion team? It's great. I mean we came in with a plan and goal and we achieved it so we're all very happy. Okay, tell me about that plan. What did you guys, what were you planning on? Uh, just to win. We all had, if we ran our best races, we would all contribute and we'd win. So that was basically the plan. Okay. Good job today. Nice Thank work. You. Lily Alder. <laughs> all right, Gwen Bolton. Good job today. Oh, thanks. First, uh, you're a sophomore this year, Yeah, right? but first year running. First year running, though. First time for the state meet. Uh -huh. Tell me about today. Oh, I was good. I was going in a little nervous. Couldn't sleep last night, so wasn't best conditions, but I'm happy with it overall. <laughs> okay, good. What does it feel like to be part of a state champion team? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so I'm so happy. I'm excited for next year, too. Well, you contributed, too. What place were you on the team today? I was the fifth runner today. Fifth runner. That is the most important one right there. <laughs> digging down. What was it like digging down that final home stretch? Oh, so painful. <laughs> it's hard, isn't so, it? Yeah. yeah. Terrible. <laughs> But I was excited for the race to be over. <laughs> Once you cross the finish line, they announced that Tim, you had won. So that was exciting. That was yeah. such an eventful thing. So good job today. Thanks. Okay, Michaela and Ellie, tell me about today. So we just, I don't know, Ellie, you go. <laughs> okay, we'll just explain it. Mine was pretty good. I feel like I held on and I pushed it hard. I wanted top 10, I got like 13, so that's, I know, I, I worked hard, so. Awesome, yes. you wanted top 10, got 13th, that's really close. Yes, you were close. For okay. me, okay. Uh, my race wasn't great, I do, I have no regrets though, I pushed it as hard as I could, and we got the team victory, so that's all you can ask for, uh, excited for NXR. Okay, awesome, and you guys have been training on this team for quite a while, even back in Roadrunners. Oh, those yeah. were the days. Those Traveled the days. to Nationals, did yeah. so many other races. Yes. Tell me what it's like being all together again on this team. Oh, it's so fun. The girls are all awesome. Yeah, our team is so fun. I we love like, our team. We're so close. And, I also um, love that our team is consistent, you know, in the past yeah, you can for trust. high school. Like today, me and Kayla were yeah. both talking like how we can just trust our team. Yeah, it's like I know everybody's going to execute or do the best they can. And so it's like that surety is what like I feel like makes us a good team. Okay, well, good job today. Thank you. Okay, Jamie Rivera, head coach of the uh, Tippy Cross Country and Track Program. Uh, tell me about today. Uh, well, how did you inspire the girls and uh, what was the plan? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm just really proud of them. They've been inspired and motivated since June. Like, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't like this week this was something we shot for. Like, this is a goal they made a long time ago. And every single one of them worked for it from runner one to runner 15. I mean, it really was just a group effort from all the girls, the whole staff. I really, these, like, the staff here is just the best. Like, I love all my assistant coaches. 
It's been so great to have girls that used to run and MacGyver and Nelson, like just the best guys. Um, and everyone just really put out for the team. I mean, that was what they really wanted, and they wanted to win it as a group. And obviously, Jane ran great, and that was an incredible performance given the circumstances, especially. Um, but in the end, like, she really showed up because she wanted to do it for everyone else today, and I think that's so admirable. And I think everyone went in with that attitude. So. Okay, that's great. Uh, so tell me about that, like, for coaches that are out there, team culture, how do you develop that? Yeah, I mean, I think it just has to be pretty intentional. Um, I think girls by nature and kids by nature, especially now, honestly, with social media and cell phones, tend to be a little more separate. But I think cross-country running, distance running in general is such a great way because you're not going to have your phone while you're on the run. If you can just, like, encourage them to talk to each other, support each other, do things together outside of practice, and like encourage it but not necessarily be the organizer all the time and just kind of if you have good leadership like the leadership on this team the captains are amazing um, all the varsity girls are amazing they really care about everyone so I think that's kind of the biggest thing is just being really intentional about it and setting goals that not only have to do with running but the kind of environment that you want to create. Oh, that's great so coming off track season girls also took the state championship but it was really from the strength of kind of the sprinters and the and then Jane on the distance side now in cross country the strength of the distance squad winning this. What can you tell me about what you've seen from the team, both the track and the cross country team and how they developed? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I, we just talked about, culture makes a big difference and I think consistency. And I think for a long time, we've had a lot of consistency in distance training and distance running. But I think, you know, we've had some great sprint coaches, but it's been like a couple years in and out. Um, and with MacGyver really stepping in and, and taking the reins, I think that's just made a huge difference. Um, and, you know, he brings a positive energy and therefore brings kids with positive energy and kids that want to work hard and I think we have a very similar vision about what we want. So I think there's just been some more unity there between the groups and just creating a place where kids want to be and want to show up and want to compete. Okay, well, good things are happening. First state championship cross country. Tip you girls since 1996. Quite a while. So that's awesome. Well, congratulations, Jamie. Thanks, to you Sean. And your team. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. I, was, I only came into the last like five seconds. I was like, oh shoot, what am I gonna This do? one's gonna be the best one. This okay. is definitely going up for the gram. Oh. Okay, McGavra Clark, uh, coach for the Tip U high school team. And uh, you've coached Jane for quite a while. Yep. Uh, on Roadrunners and now helping out with the Tip U as an assistant okay. coach. Tell me about today, some of the challenges and opportunities that Jane had to face today. Yeah, you know, it's been interesting that over the summer she had some phenomenal postseason races uh, coming out of track season. Um, she had a really good summer buildup, but come this fall she just had a few hurdles to go through. And it's been really special, honestly, to get to talk with her and just see how she has stayed in it like just grounded mentally has worked through the things that she has had to and to come here today to show up for her team and to help them win a team state championship it just shows to her character that you know she will do whatever she can to be there for her team and i think that's uh it's pretty special and it's it's impressive like i'm i am thoroughly impressed with her this season and i'm proud of her so okay awesome uh jamie had some good things to say about your positive energy and what you bring to the program how do you develop team culture and that positive energy as a coach? Yeah, no, I think uh, um, I think it just starts out with that we are we are a team-centered team. Like we empower the individual to contribute to a team vision, um, and that's just honestly through love, like loving the kids, being an unconditional mentor and supporter for them, and knowing that I believe in them, and that's not earned that I will believe in them and I'll continue to invest in them. And that type of uh, selfless altruism is what breeds into and sets the example for everybody else that we, we will do every, anything and everything to support our teammates. Everything that we do uh, empowers each other and that we're friends on and off the track, on and off the course. Um, and really, I mean, it's all set by example. Uh, I, I really believe that there's no bad teams. It's just leadership and you gotta lead the team. And I think that's what, if, if I do anything as a coach, I think that's uh, the biggest thing I can help them do 
is to, to be a team and to invest in each other. And then that's what, it's the tide that raises all boats. So Awesome. Well, first state championship for the Tip U Girls Cross Country Program since 1996. Yep. And just last season for track, the girls also took home the state title yep. as well. What can you tell me about that in terms of momentum that you see from the program right now? No, it's awesome. And it's, it's really cool to see how Jamie's leadership has recruited some really, really good coaches. Um, we have really dug deep into what our, our training plan is to make sure that it is productive for the individuals. It works in a lot of cases because everybody's you know, uh, training need is different. Um, but overall, I really think it is just team. It's team coming together, sacrificing for each other, running for each other. Um, and that really gets the kids through those really grueling workouts, the races when you're not having a good day. Because you know your brothers and sisters are behind you working hard. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm so proud to be part of this team. I love this team. I love the kids. I love the coaches. And it's just a privilege. It's a privilege. Okay. Thanks, MacGyver. Yep. Jane Hedengren, 5A state champion today for Utah for cross country. Tell me about some of the mentality you had coming up to the starting line today. Yes, there was very low expectation, but I was just grateful to be out there with my team um, and try to give it my best shot for them and see if it could get us in contention for the state championship. So you missed the last couple races. Woodbridge was great, but then dealing with a couple setbacks. Tell me about what it's like coming to the starting line where you know you're not going to be 100%, or you're not 100% right now against some great competition like Adria Favero and Lily Alder. Yes, um, I think it just gives me the opportunity to just go for it and, like I was saying, without expectation. Um, and I was just trying to embrace it because hopefully I won't have these um, opportunities very often where. I'm just kind of coming in a little wrecked, like I haven't even run in quite a bit. And so, um, yeah, just trying to embrace because, and then that, I think that will give me some fire in me to, for these upcoming seasons, just because I'm like, oh dang, like I've missed this. I haven't had solid training. And then so when I do, I can just think back and be like, oh, like I'm in such a cool spot right now. And I don't have to be worrying about these silly things because I have the opportunity to move my body today. Okay, I hadn't really run that much in three or four weeks and then showed up to the starting line. Um, when did you figure out during the race that, I mean, it looked like a 5.30 first mile, 5.35 second mile, 11.05 uh, uh, two mile. When did you figure out during the race that you kind of had it still? Um, against the competition or just for myself? Just for yourself, yeah. Um, I would say probably two miles in with a mile to go or like a mile and a half in, I was like, Thing, like I still feel smooth um, and I didn't mean to separate that early but once I had taken it uh, I it just had felt slow and so I just sped it up quite a bit but so yeah wasn't the plan going in but just adapted and uh, just tried to do tried to have a good effort for my team okay you wore the alpha fly training shoes again today are you ever gonna wear spikes this season <laughs> hopefully I uh, doctor prescribed trainers, so those obviously are very fast trainers, so yeah, just I'm not ready to wear spikes yet. So. Okay, well that'll be another gear when you do. So good job today, and also the team took home the state title as well. Uh, tell me about what that's like running with a group of girls who are also relying on each other, relying on you, you're relying on them as well. Yeah, I think that was our intention from June, was to come into the season, um, training like state champs and just knowing that was we were totally capable of that. Um, and we had a lot of forward momentum after state track because we won. And so, um, yeah, just throughout this whole season, that's been a big goal of ours and throughout past seasons as well. And so we're all just feeling super stoked. Okay, what's going on for the rest of the season now? Um, NXR and maybe NXN, I don't know. Just gonna try to get healthy, so. Okay, good job, Jane. Thank you. I saw him because I noticed he got that mullet haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, God. He's growing. Let's go Luke and Tegan!
Stay smooth, boys. Work together. Let's go, guys. Come on, Thomas. Let's go, Kimbo. Let's go, Devin. Let's go, Spencer.
right there. Right there, Spanish Fort, come down. There you go, there you go. Good job. Eyes up, keep coming. Go down, Spanish Fort. Go down, Spanish Fort. Keep coming, Alpha, let's go. Nice job, Cedar Valley. Keep coming, Brighton, right here, bud. Here we go. Well done, well done. Good finish, Bountiful. Stay up, eyes up, eyes up, stay up. Stay up. Walk through, get some water. Stay up, Tim Eyes up, here we go. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up right here. Eyes up, eyes up this way, eyes up this way. Eyes up, eyes up. Like this way, good job. Eyes up, eyes up. Eyes up, come on, Brighton. Right here, right here, Brighton. Keep coming. Hey, keep coming, boys. Come on, work cross. Work cross, keep coming. Like this way, eyes up. Stand tall, stand tall. Stand tall, eyes up, here we go. Stand tall. Good job, good job. Stay tall, stay tall, Sam. Stay up. Right this way, we gotta keep coming through, guys. We gotta keep coming through, guys. You got to keep coming through. Oh, 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 So tell me about today, second place overall finish and first place for the boys, Maple Mountain. Uh, tell me about the team culture. How do you guys uh, work together? Um, we just have fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I'd say we focus a lot on just like having a good time, um, yeah. working together, like doing the rest of our workouts. Okay, having fun and working hard. Yeah. That's good. How'd the race go today? It was really well. Yeah? Did you guys, were you shooting for second? Was it kind of a surprise or were you? That's what we were shooting, That's what we were shooting for. Shooting for? Okay, came in with a little bit of confidence to the starting line. That's good. I also saw you guys chasing Timpview yeah. as well. Okay, not. Uh, and I heard the fans like, go get that Timpview ready, go get that Timpview ready. So tell me about that during the race. When it got hard, you were looking up ahead. How'd you guys do manage that when you guys were uh, in the middle of the race? I think for me, like I thought of our team, right? And like just I thought of everyone and knew that we were all in pain, but we could all do it together. Yeah. Okay, the team element. Yeah. Okay. Well, good job, Maple Mountain, and congratulations on second place finish. All right, Maple Mountain boys, state champions. Uh, congratulations, going up against a lot of tough competitors out there today. Tell me what it was like coming into the race. You guys have a lot of confidence coming in? Yeah. What was the plan? A lot of yeah, confidence. We, had a, we okay. had a plan. We all had a part to play. And I, I, I think we all trusted each other a lot. Yeah. It was a great, it was a great yeah. Okay, running as a team. What was that like out there? You know, halfway through the race, things got really hard. Two mile. Looked like the lead pack was right around, you know, five minutes per mile, about 10 flat. And then the pace just started dropping. <laughs> what was going through your mind at that point? Well, we were with the lead pack at that point. We were just thinking, we got to finish this stronger. We don't win state. Goblin mode. So, <laughs> me and Max, yeah, we said we were going to go goblin mode. So, <laughs> we, went, we, went goblin we mode. finished as hard as we could. Goblin mode. Goblin Last mode. Mile. Yeah. Okay, good job. Way to go, Maple Mountain State Champions for 5A boys. And four from Maple Mountain High School, Ashlyn Lanehart. Adria Fabero from Olympus High School. And your top champion from Tipview High School, Jane Hedegren. We appreciate Kim Monkers from the UHSA Executive Committee and Director Chris Shipman from the UHSAA.
for giving our awards. Kim will get some picks for the socials. Huntersville High School, Cole Jamison. Jamison <laughs> from Brighton High School. Place finisher, Gabe Hooper from Beaumont High School. State champion, Jojo Jordan. Congratulations to all our boys first participants and to our top 10 finishers. Miss Monkers is going to snap a couple photos. Championships, come on down and get your trophy. Maple Mountain High School. Congratulations, Maple Mountain. State champions, 5A girls cross country, Tempview High School. Come on down, girls. 62 points, Tempview High School, 2023, cross country state champions. <laughs> Miss Monkers will get a photo.
David in a red shoe is right there. Okay. Sitting in second right now. Whoops, I just hit the camera in my hand. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Hey, cheer them loud. Hey, cheer them loud. Hey, let's go, Ava! Hey, you look good, girl! You're running strong! Let's go, let's go! Stick on her, stick on her!
champion for the girls 4A, Utah. Uh, tell me about the race. Um, well, it went out pretty fast, so I just kind of stayed with that front group and it kind of um, filtered out by the end, but yeah. Okay, great. So last year, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, coming back here. Last year, kind of crash and burn. This year, leading out from the front, and then you just started separating further and further. How did that feel this year? It felt good. It, felt, it was so much better than last year. I kind of had that in the back of my mind, and I was like, I have to do better. And winning was just, it's been something I've wanted to do for so long. And so it felt really good. Okay, that's great. Okay, tell me about the rest of the season. What's next? Um, well, we have NXR in a few weeks, and then after that we have Nationals. We're probably going to go to Alabama for a running lane, and yeah, that's it. Okay, fantastic. So the overall team score was also Mountain View champions, mm -hmm. so state championship as well. What does that mean to you to run with a great group of girls, not just individually winning? It's amazing. I love it so much. Everyone works so hard and I just have the best team. We, it's been our goal for the whole season to win, and so it's just amazing that we've got to do that. Okay, well congratulations, go celebrate. Thank you.
Come on, summon any. Let's go, Jacob. So now he's just got to finish this. He's looking strong though. He's got a good strong cadence going. He's just got to continue to now run a time trial and finish strong. Now it's all about the next guys to follow behind him. That'll be super important. Hey! Hey, 15 meter gap now! You gotta keep grinding! Mountain use right now! Take. Go catch him! Take looking good. Come on, Tate! Hey! Hey! Hey, get three! Get three! Get three! Get three. Thank you. 
stay between that group and as soon as my one hit I wanted to make a surge and just start surging and holding that pace throughout the race and coming into the, the second mile I knew I had some more in the tank so I was going to make a big surge so I made that big surge and just held it as long as I can and 400 meters 300 meters 200 meters and I just closed as fast as I could. Okay, great. I mean, it's almost the identical split of the 5A, except you were 10 seconds faster on that first mile. Yeah. Kind of hit that first mile quick, uh -huh. just push the pace. Tell me, was that the strategy going in? I'm a sit, uh, I'm not a sit and kick guy. I'm a grind it out kind of a guy when it comes to races. I, I'm not the best. I don't sit too well, and I, some kids may have a better kick than I do, so I know that if I grind it out and run it out of them throughout the race, they can't catch me at the end, or they have a harder time catching me. Okay, that was certainly the case. Kyle Stedman you know, started off maybe fifth, sixth place, uh -huh. started working his way up, uh, was about 30 meters back. Uh -huh. What could you hear from the crowd? Did you know he was back there? Well, looking forward to the finish line. Kyle's a great runner. I knew that he was going to get out, and... As soon as the first mile hits, he usually starts to gain space and gain space, and I knew that he was going to start doing that. Again, Kyle's a great runner, and I didn't know how close he would be, but I just focused on putting as much space as I could between me and him and trying to beat the course. Okay, well, fastest time for today. Congratulations, Thank you. Austin. Thank you. Okay, Kyle Stedman. I'm right here. <laughs> anyway. oh, he's right here. Kyle Stedman is second place. Kyle Stedman, second place overall in the 4A Utah Cross Country Championships. Tell me about the race today. Um, coach wanted the first part controlled and then have a hunt the last two miles. Uh, it was pretty tough. I had, there's some big gaps there and I don't like working alone. So I raced hard and it was, it was just a day. Okay, you started off fifth or sixth place, worked up. Austin had quite the gap on you, but you had passed everybody that last mile, except for Austin about 30 meters ahead. What was going through your mind that last mile? Um, I kept trying to chase him up until maybe 400. Then I kind of locked it in. You know, it hurt real bad, so you know, I kind of gave in. But I, I worked for 
as, as long as I could to catch him, and it just didn't pay off. Well, fanta fantastic race, about a 450 for 48 average, something like that. Uh, very fast uh, for the state meet course. Uh, tell me about what it means to not only do well as an individual, but also with your team taking first place. The team is everything. It's just a really good motivation, you know. You're running for something bigger than just yourself. And so you know you got six guys counting on you to do your best. Uh, and in a small race like this, every point counts double. So that was just a big motivation. Okay, well congratulations Kyle. Great work today. Let's go, Tyler. Let's go, Katie. Let's go, Ayla. Stick together. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Yeah. 
blocking though, keep blocking. Austin and Anna all by these, finishing off for third, fourth, and fifth for the Lone Peak team with a team score of 19 to take the championship to, uh, today. How do you feel like uh, running out there, not only with your team, but also with your relatives, with, uh, cousins or sisters? Cousins. Cousins, all right. So how did that feel? Okay, freshman, sophomore, and junior. And Maya as a freshman, right? Yes. And you've been having a, a, a stress reaction or something? And uh, something going on. Okay, we came out here not 100%, but you guys still made it happen. Tell me about uh, coming to the starting line. What are some of your thoughts? Well, it's obviously super nerve wracking. I mean, it's stay, so everyone gets the nerves, but it's always fun to be with your team because everyone's super supportive, so it calms you down when you know that they're here with you. Okay, great. And uh, Boston, uh, junior this year. How did it feel coming out uh, as a junior? A little bit more experience. Uh, yeah, I think it's been really fun to just be able to run with the same team as last year. Everyone stayed except for Maya came in, so that was super fun. And yeah, it's been a super cool experience to just train with them. We worked super hard. We got to see the workouts. Okay, you guys are all back next year. Congratulations today on both your individual performances, but also the team championship. All right, Courtney Meldrum, coach of the Lone Peak girls that just took first place, 19 points. And uh, just a fantastic to see all those girls running out there together with Avalon in that front pack. What kind of team culture have you developed to make this possible? I think this is the way they practice, so we all know if this is the way you practice, this is often the way you race, so they practice like this so often. I think they truly do love each other. That's never racing against each other, it's racing with each other and for each other. That kind of mindset changes it. I think that's super helpful for them to be able to do that. And so, and they trust each other and they all know some days are gonna be your good days, your bad days, but they're willing to fight for each other even when it's not their best day, you know, because they know the person behind them in front of them is doing the same thing. Okay, you've had a long history of running NCAA, a couple national championships. Um, yeah. What kind of culture, what do you have to tell the girls? I mean, they have the potential, fourth ranked right now, going up some really good teams, coming up with NXR yeah. and then NXN. What do you tell somebody coming into one of those big competitions? Good question. I think at this point, like, they've done a lot of the hard work, right? So now's the fine tuning and getting them ready to, like, just finish that. I think this race can be a confidence booster for them going into the next one, understanding like I can come out here and I can run with the best of the best and now I gotta go to the next level and do the same thing. I think mainly anything, just keeping them happy. Girls run better happy. Run happy is just kind of something that we have all noticed girls do better. So. Well, your daughter, Addie, so she really had a standout performance in state this last year. Yeah. Just kind of a breakthrough mile. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean having a daughter on the team as well? It's a lot more stress. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think what you see is that you can understand her good days and bad days when you've been there before. So I'm able to empathize with her, not just have sympathy, but empathize with her. Like, and it's helpful to recognize those days, right? And so it's been so fun for me to have that type of relationship with her. And I'm going to miss her, but I'm grateful she's going on to bigger and better things. And it's her choice, and I couldn't be prouder of her. Okay, well, thank you. Congratulations today, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.
place to have a skate race. It's just all, it's all about the Benjamin. Why did they switch it? Because there's a fence. So you didn't try skating. Yeah, they, they did do yeah. that to me. That's the only reason. <laughs> well, he's going for it. Breaking away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y